Good day to Puan Rusniati. I'm Ong Kit Ho and me and my groupmate Nazru will be presenting about Petroleum National Berhad's cultural profile. Petroleum National Berhad is also known as Petronas in short. Next, I will talk about Petronas briefly. Petroleum National Berhad, which is Petronas, is incorporated on the 17th of August of 1974 and it is wholly owned and controlled by the Malaysian government. Petronas has since ventured into more than 35 countries including Argentina, Russia and Egypt. Petronas also currently employs over 30,000 employees worldwide and consisting of not less than 38 nationalities. Business activities of Petronas revolves around petroleum products. Range of activities are such as exploration, development, production, oil refining, gas processing and liquefaction, gas transmission pipeline operations, marketing, trading and distribution of petroleum products. Next, I will play a brief video about Petronas. A world of energy. 8 billion people in rapidly expanding megacities. Where will we find the energy for our future? In the deep oceans? In the vast deserts? What will it take to get there? How will we find it? By maximizing resources, Petronas is reimagining energy and making it possible. Building on the success in managing our country's oil and gas resources, Petronas has grown into a major global oil and gas company. Our capability spread across a broad portfolio, across every stage of the oil and gas development, and across the total value chain. In conducting our business, HSE is top priority. Consistently, we have demonstrated that we are good partners with host governments and other oil and gas companies in monetizing oil and gas resources. And we always add value. Making discoveries in every corner of the world. some of the most complex reservoirs. Re-engineering platforms. And designing new approaches. Tackling some of the most complex fields to deliver world-class results. We rejuvenate existing wells, extracting higher yields even from depleting resources. In discovering and developing a new world of energy, we forge trust and continually improve our capabilities. Working alongside local communities, 
always making safety, health, and the environment a priority. Let us transform energy for a better tomorrow. Together, let us reimagine energy. Next is about the milestones Petronas has achieved. Uh, Petronas is incorporated and the logo is designed to signify the dynamism and forward movement as well as qualities. They started with only 15 staffs in the premises of the Prime Minister's Department Office in Jalan Datu on Kuala Lumpur. Petronas embarked for the first time in oil exploration and production activities with the formation of Petronas Chari Gali Sandriyan Berhad in 1978. Petronas, with its policies of promoting self-reliance, helping to develop associated industries and varying the sources and uses of oil and gas, played an important role in the Malaysian economy as a whole. The contribution from oil taxes to the federal government has been increasingly important, from rates varying from 12% to 36% within the decade. Growth in the revenue provided from Petronas has made up a crucial sector of the economy. International exploration, development and production has came in as a key component for Petronas. Key discovery in Vietnam in 1994 has established Petronas their first overseas production. Two subsidiaries of Petronas, Petronas Dagangan Berhad and Petronas Gas Berhad, went public on Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange. Petronas' vision is to be a leading oil and gas manufacturer of choice and the mission is to develop and add value to petroleum resources wherever it operates, converting these resources into higher value products that will satisfy the needs of customers and bring benefits to the people. Next, I will talk about the organizational structure of Petronas. Organizational structure is the internal, formal framework of a business that shows the way which management is linked together and how authority is transmitted. Petronas adapts functional organizational structure which enables specialization and allowing employees to focus in their respective scope of jobs. And there will be five main divisions of the group structure. Firstly will be the corporate planning and development which deals with the long-term and short-term business strategies for the development of the company. Secondly will be education which, under, which they undertakes all the educational activities associated with Petronas, which includes scholarship programs in University Technology Petronas. Third would be the Finance Department, where it undertakes all the finance, financial and accounting reporting, which serves as a backbone of the company. They serve to locate profitable areas and identify financial resources for its operations. And the fourth one will be Technical Services, which deals with the drive and manage technological activities of Petronas. Lastly, we'll be on the human resource, which is dealing with the recruitment, selection and training of employees. However, there will also be cross-functional bonds between the respective divisions and departments. Process of specialization enhances the bond within the organization, which ultimately leads to a successful organization. Teamwork is also encouraged in specialization. All departments are to cooperate together to achieve the organization's goals and targets. Rewarding program is also suited for the organization as a whole, from the employees, customers, suppliers, as well as the community as a whole. As part of Petronas' digital journey, they have implemented a new procurement platform called Smart by GEP, which is a unified cloud-based procurement platform that will open new doors for collaboration between Petronas and their value partners. As part of Petronas' 2019 activity outlook, going digital is one of the four key areas in focus apart from pace, collaboration and competencies. 
By going digital, we aim to unlock potential value by removing customer frictions and meeting our internal and external stakeholders' needs. To enable this, Group Procurement has embarked on a transformation journey to introduce the Digital Procurement Initiative. As part of this initiative, we are enhancing our end-to-end -end procurement platform to bring a more fluid, holistic, and digitalized workflow to life across the procurement value chain. This vision will be enabled through Smart by GEP, a unified end-to-end -end cloud based procurement platform that will redefine our procurement experience. This digital journey will not only change the ways of working with our internal stakeholders, but also with you, our valued partners. Now let's see how Smart by GEP will transform your ways of working with us as our partner in procurement. From bid submissions, tender clarifications, contractual document tracking, invoice processing, to supplier performance management. Meet Shah. He is the procurement executive for drilling services in Dirian Burhad. Once Smart by GEP is live, Shah will be able to submit his bids online. If Shah requires clarifications about his tender, he can use the discussion forum feature that is available in Smart by GEP. This promotes a seamless and secured communication channel between Petronas and our vendors. Upon contract award, Shah will be able to view contractual documents that are initiated and captured in Smart by GEP. With the centralized digital repository in place, both parties will have immediate contract visibility. For procurement processes that are initiated in Smart by GEP, invoicing processes are streamlined as manual invoicing is eliminated. Smart by GEP also has a feedback feature that enables vendors to view the performance rating, allowing them to improve their performance in the future. In essence, Smart by GEP provides end-to-end -end automation for the majority of procurement transactions, enabling the entire procurement process to become faster, easier, and more efficient. Digital Group Procurement, your strategic solution partner. Digitalization to fuel growth. Leading the growing movement of digitalization sweeping across the oil and gas industry, Petronas accelerated its efforts in harnessing the power of data to sustain high productivity, improve effective decision making, reduce downtime, and increase the effectiveness in problem solving, especially for offshore exploration, development, and production activities. Digitalization has enabled them to gain access to real time insights and diagnostics and to integrate critical information into their value chain to accomplish a significant and sustainable cost savings, especially in areas such as geological surveying, drilling, as well as production and supply chain monitoring. This is reflected in their integrated operations center, an entire floor dedicated to the oil and gas equivalent of an air traffic control room where all offshore vessels and EDP platforms are exhibited on a single display. The centralization of the operation has optimized the processes for greater efficiency gains and oversight. Consequently, Petronas has also introduced the first fuel e-payment solution in Malaysia that allows customers to purchase fuel and eventually convenience store items directly from smartphones, eliminating the need to queue at the counter is now available at more than 250 petrol stations within the Klang Valley and will be made available in all regions nationwide by December 2019. Another innovative on-demand mobile fuel delivery service that provides customers with a convenient, seamless and safe refueling experience is the first mobile fuel delivery service in Malaysia and Southeast Asia. Petronas has also hosted an exhibition for the indigenous communities. One of it is known as Mana, a living legacy, 
It was hosted in Gallery Petronas KLCC in 2017. Mana is actually a word that means ancient in Tamayo language. The exhibition aims to feature the unique aesthetics of the indigenous people which remains intact despite the modernization around the globe. It's to better reflect their origins and identity as well as the way they inhabit in their homeland. Petronas is proudly taking the role to emphasize on the importance of traditional culture as a whole and how their values and practices would aid to edge global issues such as global warming, biodiversity loss and sustainable living. Another indigenous practice that is done by Petronas revolves around this project known as the Sabah Sarawak Gas Pipeline. It's a project that involves a pipeline from Kemani Sabah towards Bintulu Sarawak. It stretches up to 91 kilometers in Sabah and 421 kilometers in Sarawak. Petronas project team members has connected with the indigenous peoples delegates from Berawan, Iban, Kayan, Kalabit, Kenya, Lumbawang, and Pinang to hand out knowledge of the SSGP and its arrangements. This has incorporated the opportunities for the indigenous, mainly procurement. In 2018, Petronas received Fratstad's Most Attractive Employer. This is not the first time Petronas has received this award. This just shows the type of consistency that Petronas keeps on delivering and taking care of their employees. Performance and delivery is one of Petronas' glorified model, which supports the company's aspirations in building a higher performing culture and workforce in the organization. Petronas practices a culture that emphasizes mainly on being people-oriented, values such as maintaining harmony and kinship, being respectful and obedient to its elders and those of senior positions is very much emphasized in the company. With Malay ethnic group being predominantly constituting Petronas management and employee workforce, humility to its seniors being viewed as father figures or referent power base and as well as family-like work relations is a spirit of mutual help, which is Gotong Royong in Malay, within the same community that stems from the days of its agricultural-based days. See it, own it, solve it, and do it is one of Petronas' cultural model of accountability embedded across this very organization. Professionalism is also reflected in employees' conduct, being respectful and consistent. Petronas places an emphasis on integrity. For instance, there's a practice of no gift policy among employees. This shows how Petronas take care of their well-beings that is reflected on employees shouldn't be accepting any perks or benefits from their customers or partners. Petronas employee perks and benefits includes health insurance, vacation policy, death benefits, quality single or family housing and company community, personal effect shipments and excess baggage allowances, access to some of the finest social and recreational facilities in UK, free medical in UK for you and your family, excellent education assistance benefits with family status contracts, life insurance policy, maximum and efficient security within work and housing community, and phone telco provided by the company, and as well as a telephone. Petronas has also contributed to many local cultural and social issues. Petronas is very active in giving back to the community, such as building schools for indigenous people in Sarawak, giving donations to the orphanage during festivities, and also providing jobs to the underprivileged minorities. Looking at organization values, although Petronas is a global entity, the diversity of global entity can further bring the best in employees. This kind of community-centered collective spirit naturally translates to Petronas' wide array of involvement in corporate social responsibility programs, as well as volunteering activities nationwide to remedy, improve particular social issues and needs. The following shows one of the many contributions done by Petronas in response on helping the indigenous people of Sarawak by funding the primary school in Ulu Tatao. Saya Winona, asal saya dari Rumah Sekaya, umur saya 12 tahun. 
Dulu sekolah ni tak berapa cantik, tapi sekarang dah semakin cantik. Saya harap saya dapat keputusan yang baik dan belajar bersungguh-sungguh. Nama saya Jika, umur saya 12 tahun, asal saya Romatikum. Saya bercita-cita ingin menjadi seorang guru. Saya Jimmy Narabong. Saya dulu sekolah dekat SK Nangga Penyarai. Berasal daripada rumah Degom Nangga Putih ke Kota Tau. Okey. Sekarang ni saya bekerja dengan Hyperweb System Engineering. Di mana posisi saya adalah Junior Insumer Engineer. Okey. Dulu sekolah tu memang si macam tu lah. Kita tu memang dah kacak habis lah. Memang dulu sekolah tu boleh dikatakan boleh roboh lagi. Kedak dia makan dulu memang dah sengit. Memang dah uh, mun banjir. Banjir selalu datang eh, memang kayunya memang cepat reput lah. So kini tu nangga ada perubahan di polah tu. Uh, memang oh memang <laughs> cepat mau ada apa lah. Tu macam bukan sekolah kami dulu. Nah, saya Ibrahim bin Stok, uh, guru besar SK Nangga Penyarai. Uh, saya telah berkhidmat di sini selama tiga tahun lebih ya. uh, Ini tahun, masuk tahun keempat Sebenarnya uh, saya bagi pihak sekolah Nanya uh, amat gembira sekali uh, Sebab saya tahu apabila program uh, MLNG Outreach ini Datang ke sekolah saya uh, Saya pasti dan saya tahu Mereka pastinya membawa satu perubahan yang besar Terutama sekali dalam melonjakkan pencapaian akademik di sekolah. Looking at leadership styles, in 2015, the CEO revamped on the working culture of Petronas. The reason for that is because he believes a good working culture can improve the productivity of employees. Many people can say that they can make a good culture, but the question is, what is a good culture? And that question, not many has the answer. This shows a good type of leadership portrayed by Mr. Kamaru Arifin, the CEO of Petronas. There are six forms of culture introduced by the CEO. Results matter, own it, focused execution, nurture trust, tell me, and also shared success. Results matter. Petronas is an extremely goal-oriented organization driving result with work-life integration and priority. However, one must be able to deliver their results regardless. Results matter. This shows the amount of hours being put into work does not mean anything if there is no positive results. This just gives a higher motivation to employees to actually work even harder. The own it culture allows employees to work on projects that they believe and enjoy in bringing the best in themselves. Employees are able to express how they really feel towards their superior to enjoy a comfortable working environment. Presentation and project team host workshops to gather input and feedback. Being able to work with colleagues across continent from diverse background, this gives employees the opportunity to experience different opportunity and ideas towards a common goal and own the results that they achieved. This shows that employees should take their own responsibility on the task given. This also promotes individual behaviour within a dynamic collectivism. Focus execution. Patronus adopts a flexible working environment focusing on productivity, efficiency and focus execution. Patronas does not believe in micromanagement as they believe a committed team is able to deliver with self-discipline. Nurture trust. This can be seen within communication of the leaders actively built and nurture trust within the employees. It is a singular belief shared by all within the organization, a singular goal for all. In Patronas, they practice in keeping promises which is delivering what they promise, is paramount. Petronas is very transparent with its decision-making within its employees. With its commitment and integrity, Petronas had established anti-bribery and corruption policy where they will not tolerate corruption within the company. 
This shows that Petronas promotes its transparency and shortening the power dynamics between employee statuses. Patronus has the ability to push boundary as a professional and as an individual, as they believe in an individual success is a collective success. The company allows their employees to capitalize on their strength by giving them a constructive feedback. From non-executive to leadership teams, they engage in a non-formal setting to enhance working relationships to engender a feeling of belonging and strengthen their team spirit. A monthly game is also an activity part of the company, such as the Superhero League, a monthly game session held at their head office during lunch breaks. Other informal sessions include board and miniature games as well as puzzles. In order to encourage their staff to being fit and healthy, Petronas organized a two-month PGB Biggest Body Transformation Program under which twice weekly fitness-related activities were held, such as aerobics and circuit training classes. These were conducted by three PGB staff who are certified fitness trainers. Malaysian culture adopted by Petronas. Every cultural festivities, Petronas would celebrate by having an advertisement on television to promote diversity, unity and culture. It has become a staple for many years among Malaysians to anticipate the yearly advertisement from Petronas, be it Dipavali, Raya or Merdeka who would not forget Tan Hong Ming and his friend Umi Kazrina in the Merdeka advertisement in 2005. My name is Umi. Umi Kazrina. I like her. Uh, why do you like her? She wears earrings, she ties her ponytail, um, she's pretty. What do you wish you could say to her? Do you want to come on a date uh, to a romantic dinner? And, and does she know you like her? No, I keep it a secret. Why? I don't want the whole world to know. Why not? Because everybody will laugh at me. Why should they laugh at you? Huh? Why should they laugh at you? She doesn't like me. She doesn't like you? Okay. My name is Umi Gajudina. Who's your best friend? Tan Hong Ming. Tan Hong Ming? Do you like him? Do you have a boyfriend? Who's your boyfriend? Tan Hong Ming. Education sponsorship is also one of Petronas' major contribution to the locals. Petronas has been sponsoring students on scholarships since the very beginning of its establishment to further improve the livelihood of the underprivileged. Petronas is one of the highest number of scholarship awarder for a non-government body. This is because Petronas values on improving the lives of many Malaysians.